we're asked to determine which ordered pairs are solutions to the inequality. To see if the ordered pair is a solution, we substitute the x and y values from the ordered pair into the inequality and see if the ordered pair satisfies the inequality or makes the inequality a true statement. The first ordered pair is negative three comma two, and therefore we substitute negative three for x and positive two for y. Performing this substitution gives us two times x, which is negative three, minus three times y, and y is positive two, greater than or equal to six. And now we simplify the left side. Three times negative two is negative six. We have negative six minus three times two, which gives us minus six, greater than or equal to six. Negative six minus six is negative 12, giving us negative 12 greater than or equal to positive six. Well, negative 12 is not greater than or equal to positive six, and therefore the ordered pair is not a solution. We do not check the box. The next ordered pair is negative one comma negative three. We substitute negative one for x and negative three for y. Performing the substitution, we have two times negative one minus three times negative three greater than or equal to six. Again, simplifying the left side, two times negative one is negative two, and then we have minus three times negative three, which is minus negative nine, which is equivalent to plus nine. We can also just think of this as negative three times negative three, which is positive nine, giving us plus nine, and then we have greater than or equal to six. Negative two plus nine is positive seven. Seven greater than or equal to six is true, and therefore the ordered pair is a solution to the inequality. So we check the box. The next ordered pair is zero comma negative two. We substitute zero for x and negative two for y. Performing the substitution, we have two times zero minus three times negative two, greater than or equal to six. Simplifying the left side, two times zero is zero, leaving us with negative three times negative two, which is positive six. Six greater than or equal to six is true because six is equal to six, and therefore the ordered pair is a solution. And for the last ordered pair, we substitute eight for x and four for y. Performing the substitution, we have two times eight minus three times four greater than or equal to six. On the left, two times eight is 16, and then minus three times four is minus 12 greater than or equal to six. 16 minus 12 is four, giving us four greater than or equal to six. Well, four is not greater than or equal to positive six, and therefore the ordered pair is not a solution. We do not check the box. I hope you found this helpful.